Hello everybody! This is my first in a series of vlogs for movies from the year 2022 that I did not get a chance to talk about until now. I had hoped to record these all last week, but the new year greeted me with a very nasty cold. Uh, which I'm still kind of getting over right now, you might be able to hear it in my voice a bit. And man, prior to last week, I greatly underestimated just how much mucus the human body was capable of producing. I thought you all should know that, but I'm mostly better now when I can finally talk about a movie that I have put off seeing for far too long, RRR, or Rise, Roar, Revolt. This was directed by S.S. Rama Julie and stars N.T. Rama Rao Jr., also known as N.T.R., and Ram Charan Teja. In the likely event that I butchered any of those names, I do apologize. This movie takes place in 1920s colonial India and is very loosely based on real people and events. Undercover British officer Raju and freedom fighter Beam, played respectively by Teja and NTR, meet under very unusual circumstances. They initially become the best of friends without knowing each other's true identity, but of course it's only a matter of time before their two missions collide and mayhem ensues. I have heard so many people talk about this movie, and I don't think I've heard a single person talk about it who did not give it glowing praise, and now I know why. You may have seen a few clips of various action sequences from this movie online, and let me tell you, they do not do it justice. It is all ridiculous and over the top, but in the best way possible, and just when you think they can't possibly one-up themselves, they do. And then they do it again. And again. And again. Just to give you some idea, there is a scene where one of our heroes grabs a live leopard and picks it up and hurls this huge friggin' jungle cat at a British soldier, and they collide and flip over each other like the cat is doing a fucking Canadian destroyer on the guy, and like the, the whole thing is like that. Of course, stuff like that certainly makes a movie enjoyable, but... I don't know if it would necessarily make it good. For it to be good, it also has to have an engaging story and interesting characters and some strong performances from its cast. Thankfully, RRR has all of that and more. It is a bit silly, but Rama Julie also knows when to be serious and balances the two pretty well. The movie is all about India's struggle for independence from the British, who are cartoonishly evil. Every single one of them is the mustache twirling type. Even the ladies would twirl their mustaches if they had them. And there's plenty of conflict between the two sides, even during the movie's big dance number. It starts with some British guy kind of taunting Beam and showing him a bunch of well-known Western dance moves, and then him and Raju are like, you call that dancing? This is dancing! And my god, that dance number goes so hard. If that number does not excite you, Check your pulse, you may be dead. As for our two main characters, Raju is an Indian working for the British government as a police officer and is very good at his job. The man has almost superhuman abilities and he is strong and determined and never goes halfway. But no matter how well he does, he is constantly passed up for promotions for obvious reasons. But then one day he is given the chance to track down the leader of a resistance movement which might finally earn him the respect he deserves. And that resistance leader is Beam, who is trying to track down a young girl who was taken captive by the aforementioned mustache-twirling British bastards. Like Raju, he also has near-superhuman abilities and a very strong sense of honor and pride and devotion to his people. And they meet under extremely wacky circumstances with one of those over-the-top action sequences I mentioned earlier and become the best of friends. The two characters are based on real-life revolutionaries, although they never actually met, and the movie is kind of an alternate history telling the story of what might have happened if they did meet and became friends. And this is hands down the bromance of the year for 2022. It's a wonderful friendship, the two have excellent chemistry and work so well together, which makes the story all the more heartbreaking because they are on opposite sides of this conflict, and you know eventually something's gotta give. My only minor complaint about this movie is it's maybe a little longer than it needs to be, it's just a hair over three hours. But they crammed enough good stuff in there that I can forgive that. Overall, this was amazing, easily one of the best movies of the year, great story, ridiculous action, I loved it. It is an absolute must-see if you have not seen it already, and if you have Netflix, you really have no excuse. I know it's three hours, make the time. You'll be glad you did. And that's all I have to say about RRR. Till next time, take care.